decorating on a budget? I'm gonna give you some tips that I use when decorating that keep me from breaking the bank. So how do you decorate a room or an entire home on a budget? For any room, we have a short list that we always use to make sure we get the best bang for our buck. For now, I think we'll just call those Kojo's Cash Cuts. Kojo's Cash Cuts. Number one, paint your ceilings and your walls the same color. I'd say the two main reasons I do this is because it's cheaper. And if you're painting the walls yourself, you don't have to worry about cutting in the lines around the ceiling because that's really difficult. And I don't like to chop up my room with color. I like to continue the color all up on the ceiling and back down. I like that look I always have. You even can consider using a sheen on the ceiling to reflect light. It really depends on the size of the room and your lighting in the room. But you could use the same color on the ceiling with that special sheen. It really does make a statement. Consider doing that. It actually is a little bit cheaper if you do it that way. Secondly, use these discount sites. Go to TJ Maxx's website, Home Goods, Marshalls, Overstock, Wayfair, Amazon. You can find all kinds of options for yourself. I tended to go to the high end websites look at their accessories, find things I absolutely loved. They gave me great ideas. I could even see how they staged it. But then I would go back to the Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx websites and look for those accessories. And in most cases, I could find the exact same thing for much cheaper. I had to stick to my budget. This was the only way of doing it. You don't always have to buy expensive items. And if you buy the less expensive items, it will give you the opportunity later of changing them out and refreshing the room when you get tired of looking at the same thing and you won't feel so guilty about having spent $10 on something versus 80 or $90 on something. Another piece of advice, use what you've got. It's okay, it's paid for. And if you use those items in your room, you will guarantee yourself a very unique room. Your room will not look like everybody else's. You don't want it to look like everybody else's. So use what you have. Use those items that no one else has that are unique to just you and showcase them in your rooms. It's okay. If you're on a very tight budget, one way to save money is using a single drapery panel on one window. You can pull it back with a tie back. And if you have complementary slender windows, you can do it on each window, pull them back to opposite sides, and it really gives you a nice complete look. But make sure that you're using a substantial drapery panel that is lined. They have some weight to them because if you are gonna go with that one, you really want it to be substantial. Okay, I know all of you know this one, but you really should shop garage sales. You really should go to secondhand stores, consignment stores. It is amazing what people are willing to sell. A lot of people change their decor out routinely. So they are getting rid of some really good pieces for really good prices so they can move on to the next style. I don't change my base decor out very often, but I will change out accessories. You can find lamps, you can find pillows, you can find occasional tables. You'll be surprised what you can find to make your room feel a little bit more special. Next, buy solid fabrics. I know that sounds kind of weird, but if you are decorating a room that has a lot of upholstered items in it, if you use the same fabric that is a neutral color, you are saving yourself money because that is a color that you can use for years and years and years and update with throws and with pillows. Throws and pillows are inexpensive. You can get those on Etsy, you can get them even on Amazon. You can save money by doing it that way instead of investing very intense pattern on a sofa or a club chair. Ceiling fans. Ceiling fans are very inexpensive. If you buy a ceiling fan that has the light attachment, you can save yourself an awful lot of money. Light fixtures are expensive. And if you buy one, I can promise you it's gonna be out of style in about 18 months. If you buy a ceiling fan that's very plain, that's something you can live with for a while. I have chosen ceiling fans for every room in my house. They all look the same. They all provide a nice gentle breeze, which if you're over 60, you're gonna need that nice gentle breeze. Oh, oh, it's too hot. I would suggest doing that as opposed to getting a trendy light fixture that you're gonna have to change out in another 18 to 24 months. And lastly, buy pillow covers and use your current pillows as inserts. But always remember to get those inserts at a two inch larger size than the actual pillow cover. 
that will ensure that it's very full and it will look more expensive and it'll be more comfortable. So go ahead, save the money.